The next time you're in a Fusion 360 assembly and you want to move some components around, you think about using the Move tool. Think about using the Align instead. You'll be pleasantly surprised. The Align tool has two basic picks, either a surface or a key point. One thing we want to talk about right now is key points. If you're worried about selecting the wrong key point on the wrong face, simply once you highlight the face, hold down the control key and you cannot pick any point except the ones on that face. Anyway, I'm going to pick this one and then I'm going to go over here and pick the one in the center of the angle. Well, you have an option to flip it since it went the wrong way. Well, you say, what good does that do? Well, if you look closely, you'll see it's lined up in one direction. Now, one of the nice features about the Align tool is that it will automatically build on itself. For example, now, if I select on this face and not a key point, it will line up without key point face to face. And now we are aligned in two faces. Now, the next thing I want to put a dead center. So, I'll start the Align tool again, and here's one that's going to really surprise you. You can actually align to work planes. So if I pick up the origin plane in the angle and come down and pick the one in the gusset, they will align perfectly. So now I'm aligned in all directions and in all planes. How cool is that? So let's do that again with a offset construction plane in the angle. I want to put that gusset dead center on that work plane. So I'll go through the motions. I'll first of all pick on the front face. No key point. Pick on this face. No key point. Say OK. Start again. And pick on this face. And this face. It's lined up in two directions. Now I'll do it one more time and pick on the gusset origin plane and the fork plane on the angle. There you go, dead center. Isn't that nice? Let's move the gusset out again and show you they can hook to other features too, such as sketches. I have put this point out off the side here and it is dimensioned at three-quarters of an inch from the edge. Now I want to place the gusset dead center of that point on that angle. So I'll go to a line. I'm going to roll it around to get a key point. And I need any key point on the bottom. It doesn't matter that one or centered. And then I'll pick on that point. That lines it up from the side. Now I'll go ahead and say OK and repeat the command and go the other direction. So as you can see, we're now lined up with that point. So it can hook to sketches as well. So let's say I need to take that gusset and make it flush with this side. Align to the rescue again. Pick on this face. Do not pick a key point. And pick on the face again. No key point. And it'll line up perfectly. Remember the Align tool builds on itself. It will maintain the last alignment as it moves around. So at this point you could put an as-built joint on, on it or you could actually do a rigid group. Let's take a look at another model and where Align really shines. In this particular one, in this model, I have a sketch that I want to match up to the other component, the green component. This one's grounded. If I go to a line and pick on this edge, again I did not pick a key point, and pick on that sketch line, it lines it up. Say OK. Start the align tool again. This time I'm going to pick on the edge. Again, no key point, and this edge to line it up perfectly. So you can use sketches, edges, or edges with key points. Now the next thing I want to do is put this hinge in position and align it in the right position without any calculations. So the first thing I'm going to do is make the bottom part slide along this part using a slider joint. 
So I'll pick on this and I want to pick any key point on that and I'm going to turn around and pick on this and pick right there. Now it's going the wrong way so I'll change the motion. We'll change to custom motion which is going to be this. It's also 180 degrees out of phase so let's just spin it around. No big deal. So now that that um, joint will float back and forth on that bottom plate as you can see. Now you say it's I need to hook the other part, the other leaf, up to the bottom of the green plate. That's going to be a nightmare to determine the angle. But a line tool can do it very quickly. Go to a line. Again, do not pick on a key point. Just pick on the face and the back of the and since it can slide freely along the base, it aligns to the top. Again, one line does not destroy the other line. Now, you can simply go up here and put a as-built joint on this part and this part. I missed that, excuse me. As-built on this part and this component and make it rigid. And then go over and lock down the slider joint and you're all set. Just lock it and now you're all set to have a perfectly moving part to the hinge. Now what if you wanted to align the hinge so that this, this part right down here is parallel to this face. Again the align tool to the rescue. Pick on this surface, no key point, and this surface and align it perfectly. So the Align tool can do a lot of special things. Try that next time you think about using the Move command. I think you'd be pleasantly surprised.